please put your hands together for our next speaker with a title, Unity Through Light. Sarah Ferguson, everybody! <laughs> Imagine overlooking a city at precisely midnight and seeing explosions come from every single location, from every street corner, from every garden, from every balcony top. Explosions that are so powerful that you feel them deep within your heart and you're completely mesmerised by everything that you see. Okay. That is Naples on New Year's Eve. Two hours of non-stop fireworks, of the most beautiful, bright, colourful lights that fill up the whole of the sky. Naples is most definitely unique. Um, it has, just like any large city, it has its wealthy and not so wealthy areas. But in the poorer districts of Naples, the, there is a very high unemployment rate and the, the locals, the majority of them, don't speak any Italian, they just speak the local dialect. And so they're forced to work for the um, Camorra Mafia. And when I lived in Naples, the uh, waste disposal crisis was at a high. And basically the, um, the Mafia were trafficking in waste from industrial areas in the north of Italy and even from abroad. And they were disposing of industrial waste and uh, toxic waste in, um, in, um, in waste disposal areas that were intended for dom domestic use. So this was causing major I uh, health issues for the, the local people. But what makes Naples unique is its people. They are the most friendliest, uh, the most passionate, the most alive people that I've ever had the pleasure to meet. Okay, my walk to work <laughs> took me 20 minutes and I knew every person on that route. The shopkeepers would wave me hello. Um, the people that I would pass by who were walking their dogs or commuting to work, they, we would stop and have a chat about anything and everything. My son, when he was five, back in England, he would get quite frustrated with me. And he would say to me, Mommy, why do you have to stop and talk to everybody? Okay. But, this year, at seven, he had the task of writing the first entry in his school's Lenten book. And he had to share with the whole school something that he was going to give up for Lent. And he wrote, in his own words, he wrote, I am going to give a smile to everybody that I see. Because a smile is so simple and free, but it can bright up the hearts of so many people. And he was actually quite proud of himself because he'd managed to make the teacher who never smiles, mm -hmm. smile. <laughs> you see, the people of Naples, they have their difficulties. They have their problems. They have, they have major issues. But they have a light that shines within them. And they give that light. And they share it and they connect. And they celebrate together. So imagine that we use, that you use um, your own unique light that you have within you. And you use that light to connect with everybody who comes across your path during your day. Whether that be a good morning, a good afternoon, or even a smile. Because a smile may be a simple gesture, but its impact is, is huge. And something so simple really can make such a difference. <laughs>